But what happens next is I heard about what your what happened to your commander. It's too bad. He was a good man. I hope you'll take care of yourself so the same thing doesn't happen to you. Ren turned around to face Thane. Uh, which is its own paragraph because it's a different speak, different focus. And this should be part of the same thing because it's the same focus as Ren. I will be care. I will be careful, sir. Thank you for your concern. Ren turned and left the room, such and such. And then she's thinking like, "Oh, that that's Thane's Thane's a bad guy, and uh, this was more of a." Uh, I hope you'll take care of yourself so the same thing doesn't happen. And I think this is meant to be a threat, so the kind of image of her not turning to face him is probably on purpose. But then if we just say Ren stopped, it's unclear if she did turn around or where she is and things like that. So I'd add more blocking to develop it. Um, Ren paused, hand on the door's handle. So now it's clear where she is and kind of the pose that she's got, the um, the stance. And we don't know who's speaking this whole thing. It's just implied that it's Thane, but to make it clearer, I'd probably add a dialogue tag. And we can add some sort of tone to it. So to indicate the kind of veiled threat uh, or you can do that a different way by having a brief reaction from Ren maybe Ren scowled to herself as in he can't see it Sort of thing, and then back to Thane. That's probably not the right term there, syrupy sweet, but I want it to be maybe sickly sweet. I don't know. I'll leave that as a note. Then continued in that sickly sweet voice again, like indicating from her perspective um, how this doesn't sound genuine. It's too bad he was a good man. I hope you'll take care of yourself so the same thing doesn't happen to you. Ren put on a smile and turned to the commander. I will be careful, sir. Uh, need more full stops. I will be careful, sir. Thank you for your concern. Ren turned and left the room. She turned back to the door, swung the door wide, and stepped through. Uh, maybe, and swung the door wide. She stepped through and let it slam itself shut behind her. Yeah, so then you have this big part here, up to there sort of thing. Which is all like travel and thoughts and stuff, but not necessarily interesting enough to be there. So I'll just read through it again. Don't give me your fake condolences, Ren thought to herself, walking away calmly from Thane's room. Well, that should probably be earlier when he says the fake condolences. The castle was large, but Ren had been there many times with her commander. She knew her way around. As she made her way out to the front 
out the front door, she passed by two sets of guards. She kept a, f a calm face on the outside, but inside she was feeling much different. I know it was staged, but why? What did you find that was worth killing you over? Uh, yeah, kind of imagining speaking to her commander that died, I think. She was thinking about her commander, commanding officer, Colonel Torin. On the other side of the street, an empty carriage was waiting for her. She stepped inside and the carriage took off down the road. Thane, I know you played a hand in it. Torin told me the day before he died how angry you had gotten with him. So, okay, let me just um, collect these thoughts. Okay, so I think Torin is her commanding officer, the one that died. And I noticed that he didn't say Torin's name, just about your commander. So we can kind of work these into here, I think. So one of the things is noticing that. So kind of call attention to it. So I heard what happened to, to your commander when scout to herself. He couldn't even bring himself to say his name. Uh, and that that's like a narrated thought from Ren. And shows like how she feels about him and why. Uh, or how she feels about, about him say it, talking about this, I guess, yeah. Also, she's going in to give him stuff, so, like, the moment she sees him probably has an effect. Come in, she pushed into the office and strode the order to call the commander. So, this should, we should spend more time on that. Um, so, instead of pushed, yeah, pushed into the office, I'll just say the commander. And then she sees Thane. and pushed into the office to see Thane sitting behind his desk, a goblet of wine in his hand, as if nothing had happened, as if it were just another off day in the castle. As if Torin was still alive. To make it clear, I don't have any of the backstory or anything, I just have these snippets to go by, so, like, uh, but I've also been given free reign to just do whatever I like, so uh, I often like add more context. Uh, it was staged. What did you find that was worth killing you? So, so it sounds like um, Thane didn't kill Torin directly, but kind of set it up so that he would be killed. So maybe something like. Um, Yeah. Um, as if it were just another off day in the castle. As if Torin hadn't been torn limb from limb mere hours ago. Yeah. So that sounds more beefy. Shaking her head, she strode toward the commander, clutching the stack of papers tight to her chest. Like, visually, I'm imagining, like, she's holding the papers, but as she's, like, thinking these things, her... Uh, her hand starts to, like, ball into her fist and kind of crinkle the papers. So she presented the, presented the papers. Uh, crinkle from... That's like, grip. That doesn't sound great. 
So we'll figure out how to, to load that in a minute. Grip on the papers tightening into a claw. And then this time, because because we have this um, more detailed vibe of how she's behaving, instead of her, her just presenting it calmly and nicely, she's going to like slap them down on the table and then say, here are this month's reports. Um, but I feel like the grip should come here. Schedule's commander. Up the papers onto his desk. The pages crinkled from a claw. A claw grip. There's an attitude going on here. Okay, we can have that. Uh, scrunched, could probably do a different verb. He looked at the pages which had scrunched at the edge from her claw grip. And back up at her. I see, he said shortly. So now he's looking at her and then he goes back to uh, the commander took another sip of wine and nonchalantly gazed over the top sheaf. Is that the right way of spelling that? Nope. Uh, there's an A in there. To relax. All fists. Captain Thane called. Ren pause. Hand on door's handle. Uh, Ren scowled to herself. He couldn't even bring himself to say his name. Uh, I feel like this thought isn't really worth uh, saying because presumably the reader is aware of this stuff and it doesn't directly relate to Thane, which is what she's really thinking about. Um, and that would be also known by the reader and it's kind of implied by her attitude toward him. And that's probably where I'd end that scene. And then I'd skip the whole carriage stuff. I am Tap and this is how I write. Thanks everyone for watching. If you look for Tap Writes on YouTube or Tap Giles Writes on Twitter, you can find me and um, get your own work with uh, live feedback. Or if you want to hire me as a, a freelance editor, you can get into contact through those places as well. Yeah, cheers everyone.